This is a Gamble PT85 tactical. Um, if you've got one of these and you've got a problem with this end bit being loose and wobbly, um, we're going to look into that, find out what's happening, and hopefully show you how to fix it. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Right, we had a viewer request on the Gamble PT85. He watched one of our old videos where we've we done a review on it, not sure which one. Um, and he said he's got a gun with. Uh, he said a loose front end, I gather he mean this barrel being loose. So anyone who's got one of these will know this is this is just a fake silencer. Um, extra long barrel and there's a lot of play there and loose. Now I have fixed this before. Um, there is a bit of a bodge to fix, um, but we'll do it anyway because we ain't got much choice. But I am going to slowly try and improve on it by using some uh, hot glue out of a glue gun. So possibly, I um, can't remember what it's like inside. So to take it apart, obviously we're going to have to strip it down to get to where the problem is. It's a little screw on the top there. Phillips screw, just take that out and we'll leave that there. Now we should be able to pull this back and lift and slide that forward. Just be careful because there's a spring under there uh, for, your, for your slide. So we'll take that off so we don't lose it. And now we can see, um, looking aside here, there's a screw shoved in there. Uh, and pretty much that is the sort of bodge fix, if you like. Um, so let me just uh, decock this, right. And while we've got this apart, we will just give it a quick lubrication. Because um, I actually haven't done it since I've had it. So, in there, this is a screw. Um, mine has actually come loose. Um, um, quite a bit of play there, which is going to affect your accuracy. So I'm going to take that out, and just so you can see what it's like without the screw. And this whole part here is moving, so um, yeah, that, that, that is just meant to slide off. So uh, this whole part is moving. Um, this end is where the mag slots up into, and I, I can't really see any way to tighten that from the bottom. Um, no. So the fix is, and this isn't my fix. This is from someone else. Is to just. Put a screw in there, it don't matter which side. Don't overdo it, I just said, um, you know, just be a bit gentle with it. And now that I'm actually into 3D printing, I could probably print a fixed part for that, to be honest. What do you reckon, Dice? Um, I might get my calipers out and maybe something that slide over here. I don't know if I get in the way of the slide or whatever, maybe. Anyway, even just a little block that slip in the bottom there, and even you have to glue it in. So. That bit on the front in there, I don't even know what that is. It's got a couple of springs on it. Must something must whack up against it. Oh yeah. That's like a back up sort of cushioning spring. It's on the front there, these little springs. So that part in the bottom isn't isn't a crucial part. So uh, as long as you get your screw in there nice and tight, not too tight, I'd say don't overdo it. You just go and sort it into plastic. And that now there's still a tiny bit of play there, but I think yeah, that's actually between the barrel and this bit, so uh, not much we can do about that, I don't think. Someone did actually say this must have been plastic by melting this and getting it to grip the barrel, but yeah, don't know. Um, yeah, maybe a bit of hot glue in there, don't know. Cause you, that thread, you got to keep that clear. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some hot glue on this through the other side. So. Um, you pass me the hot glue gun, Daz. I'll get that plugged in. Um, put loads of glue in there just to pack it out. And hopefully that'll sort the problem out. As for the, the other play there, um, I don't think there's much we can do about that, so probably have to just leave it. Yeah, I see. It's got little little dovetails on the bottom here. So what, what I'll do is um, I'm probably going to use some of that other grease, Daz. Uh, What's it called? The brown stuff. I got it indoors. Right, the grease name I was looking for was lithium grease. It's this brown stuff. It's very cheap. You buy on these big, big tubes. So I just decanted it into this little tub. So I'm not going to go mad. I'm just going to put a little bit on that little rail on the bottom there. Let's put this bag on. I think, other than that, do I want to put a bit in there? Yeah, you can see some of your trigger me mechanism in there. I'm just going to put a little. If I can get it in there, let's put some on the end of my screwdriver just to put that in there. Give that a bit of lubrication while we're there. Yeah, 
just put a bit on there as well, just in case. There we go. As for this, do you want your spring in there? Yeah, I'm just going to see <laughs> what other bits are rubbing against each other. Yes, I do now. Um, yeah, I'll probably just, when I'm done, I'll probably just put a bit on there just in case that the slide catch on it. But other than that, that's about it, really. Um, oops, I've got gas. Don't work on your gun, leave gas in it. Don't leave gas in your gun and work on it. It's dangerous. Dangerous. See, I've done that just to test you and make sure. Who said you didn't check your gas? No one. Shame on your gas. <laughs> but I did know this tank was nearly empty, so uh, I was going to re reiterate to people don't work on your guns when they've got gas or whatever. And uh, if you've got PCP, definitely don't work on them when they're full up. And with CO2 guns, you should really take your gas out. So I'm just checking that screw. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not yanking it in there, big style. That's pretty solid now. Still a tiny bit of play in there, but you're not going to feel that when this is on because that screws up onto this bit. So your barrel will just be slightly floating, I guess. Um, some people pay a lot of money for floating barrels, don't you, guys? Mm, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, let's see if the, the glue gun is heated up. I think it has because it's that's oozing all over my table. This is one of them. Uh, oh, yes, there we go. Right, let's flip that over and. I'm literally going to go to town with this in there. Just fill her up. Hope I'm not going to get in the way of any of the workings of the gun. Stringy glue everywhere and all that. Yo, it's hot. Right, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Throw the glue stick in it. A little bit around your screw, and that will do. So I'll let that cool down. If there is any in the way, you should be able to cut it off with a sharp standing knife. So I'm not too concerned um, about it getting it where I shouldn't. So I'm just going to hold it upright while it dries. There's all these stringy bits everywhere, mind you. God damn. So that's pretty much the fix. Um, the, the slackness between the body and this bit here. Uh, put a little screw in there. You might have to work out until you get the right size, and that will, that will make that. Uh, it's no solid. And so you have still got a really tiny bit. If that if that really bug you, you could put some glue around there very carefully. All right, this glue is pretty much gone solid now. So I'm just going to check. Nothing is um, binding. Uh, first little thing I noticed is if you put it too far up there this spring isn't going to go on as far as it should but to be honest I think I'm just going to leave it, I've tightened that spring up a bit if it don't function on my way so I guess let's just pop that, getting this back in oh, I see. let's make sure that bit is forward no, there we go so that bit has to click onto that bit that I took out. So I'll be blowing now. So. Well, you've got no gas in it, that wasn't yeah. really done anyway, was it? But still going back far enough to. Yeah. Uh, what's the name? That's yeah, obviously. Your yeah, that's obviously not um, catching on anything, and I'd imagine that is enough power to uh, blow it back. So we'll get that screw back in. And. Yeah, I've got some gas left, so uh, we'll stick a new gas in it. Got Give any it. pro sales? Yeah, I've got to use a pro sale as well. Uh, I'll show you all about the pro sale. Um, now, one of the major problems with CO2 guns is, is leaking. Um, that's the seal pro. That's the seal pro, right? I'll show you that uh, in a minute. Get your product name right, mate. Yeah, seal pro. Right. Okay. So we'll put this all back together. We'll put a new gas in it using the seal pro and. Give it a quick test shot on the, on the range. So, um, obviously, before you do all this, you've got to take off your your um, thing that hold all your goodies on. Uh, there's basically four, five screws in that just to take out and put it back on. Uh, yeah, so there we have it. That is the fix. Now that that feels solid. Now that's no rattling. I must say, I'm impressed. So, um, we'll put new gas in it. Oh, you got one on there already. Can they smell when they come out? 
Mm, that one's chewed up a bit. So yeah. Okay, um, what we're using is a, this one is a bit chewed up, Pro Seal. They don't last forever, they probably last two or three times. Um, that's a new little gadget which slips over there uh, before you put it in your gun. Um, if you've seen our PTFE video where we use PTFE tape to seal these, um, this does the same thing, that's just easier and quicker. And you buy them off shootfish.co.uk. So these are, these are like a Pro Tool type of a seal pro. Um, the rubber was just a bit too soft and they were getting destroyed so the ones you get off the website would be black uh, different material so you basically put it on there slot that in you don't use any oil or anything with it um, you just put it in dry and you didn't even hear a hiss there mm, and everyone's thinking oh, that ain't that ain't punched it well, oh that kick so let's just do that one more yeah, they're all functioning perfectly. So, um, should we have a little blast or not? Yeah, well, I mean, the sights aren't are pretty hard to use because the, the fake silence are getting away the open sights, but that's better than nothing. Um, let's give it a whirl. Well, well, they've got to give the PT85 a test. Um, um, I have the, the uh, ordinary PT85 there. Um, um, I presume, presume um, that, that doesn't suffer tough the same problem, and if that did to detect it, you'd have to pull the slide back and, and give that a wiggle. Well, that seemed pretty, pretty alright to me, to be honest. So, uh, here we go. One mag each, this. That sight is a bit. Uh, Great little gun, I love it. Right, right there? Yep. There we have it. So that's a fix, nice and simple. It only takes 10 minutes. Um, we need a screwdriver and a spare screw. Job done. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.